Alone, you can put up a fight. But together, you can start a war. Well, hello there. My name is Vinny Voodoo, and I've got a slightly different video than I normally make today. And that is the best loadout for the ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle. So without further ado, let's take a look at where you get the ISO Hemlock from. Right, so if you haven't done so already, you'll need to get it from the current Battle Pass. There's seven days left of Season 2, so you still have time, and it's over here in Sector B11. Now, as you can see by the greyness of this Battle Pass, I haven't bought this Battle Pass, but it's a free weapon. You're just going to have to work your way through Sector B11, and there it is over there on the top left as the HVT, and there it is. The thing that makes this gun special is it takes sub Sonic 0 .300 blackout rounds, uh, which makes it a perfect weapon for close range, long range, and indeed mid range. Uh, now, this is uh, only against NPCs I'm recommending this. I haven't had much success killing actual operators with it, but if you are like me and you only play DMC, it's the perfect weapon, especially if you've only got one insured slot as I do. I'll get to the actual loadout itself in a moment, but let's take a look at it in action. Okay, I don't know if you can see this tiny little ant in the distance here. I'll move my reticle right over it. There he is. Watch how quickly he's dispatched. Double tap. He is down. And again, this guy's a mid to long range. You can sort of see him. He's down. And that alerts his fellow mates that I'm in the vicinity. But it's no problem because I can just dispatch him with a couple of bursts here and there but let's uh go a little further there's a guy on the silo there just there down that simple now of course it's also good for medium to long range i'll just dispatch these a few fellas here um and uh close range as well so let's go in a little closer here and you can see boom dead and watch as soon as it hits its head he's done so it's mid long and short range for this weapon but let's go really long <laughs> i don't know if, if you're watching this on the phone you won't be able to see that guy but you will see him die there he goes and we'll get rid of him as well while he's there now there's a guy just to the right there on the wall and i'll fade over to there let's get rid of him again kind of a double tap thing and they're all running in the, the fresh for the picking uh, and uh, you can get really good XP off these NPCs. Now, he's just behind that wall. You can't see him. But I know he's there, and so does the ISO Hemlock. Right, let's take a look at the loadout itself. And here is the very weapon I was showing in that clip. Uh, and indeed, this is the loadout that I'm currently recommending. Now, obviously, you're going to have to do the weapon up just to get the 300 blackout rounds. You're going to have to get to at least 17 or 18 on the gun level to open the ammunition slot up. But once what's done, it is a deadly weapon. Close range, mid range, and long range, as I said. And we'll start up here with the old reflex sight. That was the little circular sight that you saw in the clip there. It's uh, you, can, you can indeed put snipers on it and stuff like that, but I'm recommending this because you don't need anything closer than that. And anything that's got a greater magnification actually makes it less accurate. So I recommend the DF-105, a reflex sight for the most amount of coverage visually. So you can use your peripheral to spot the bad guys and then just put the dot over them and just do a little double tap and they go down now i have the phantom grip on here now that does reduce some of the accuracy but it makes it rock solid on the handling uh, now to counteract that and that is indeed the phantom grip i actually have the phase three grip under barrel that actually puts the accuracy back as you can see on the graph on the left there thus countering the loss of accuracy from the phantom finally we have obviously the blackout uh, subsonic rounds which, like I say, uh, open up at around level 17 or 18. And uh, you will also need the uh, bigger round mag, uh, which, uh, whilst it does lose a little on mobility, uh, you do run out of bullets a lot less quickly. So that's it. It's a DF-105 reflex sight, a phantom grip, 
a, a 45 round mag, the 300 blackout rounds, and the phase three grip. This is a stunning weapon. Now, normally I uh, use a sniper rifle when hunting the uh, NPCs. The problem with that is, is you don't have a secondary if you've only got one in short slot. And what you pick up off the bad guys is usually pretty useless. This is a great all rounder, and it's one I'm heartily recommending until such a time as they nerf or buff it. And there we go. Let's back out and sum up. I so rarely recommend any sort of loadout. Everyone plays differently. They buff, buff and nerf the guns on every conceivable opportunity. And so anything that's said normally is uh, false within a few days. But I've been using this since I uh, started this battle pass and uh, opened it. And it has proven to be the best NPC killer that I currently have. Uh, especially uh, when you get into a, a close range battle uh, accidentally and uh, for long range you, they just don't even see you coming uh, often and uh, they don't have anywhere near the accuracy that I do with the ISO hemlock. So get it on sector B11 in the battle pass uh, and in the meantime it just leaves me to say my name is Vinnie Voodoo and thanks for watching.